Wait, what, Kevin? You want me to choose two decks for the Rogue Master Brewer competition? Okay, whatever. Hi, guys. This is Zach with Rogue Deck Builder, kind of. So, anyways, Kevin decided I was going to go ahead and choose two decks for the Rogue Master Brewer competition. Now, I decided to choose two decks that fit more of my playstyle. So, I decided to choose first off the Eldrazi Evolution deck, which really tries to use Eldritch Evolution, which lets you sacrifice a creature, go get a creature with converted mana cost 2 plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost, which really seems like an awesome strategy to me to sacrifice your mana reshaper to go get a reality smash and start beating down like crazy. But some awesome little cool synergies with this deck is you're using Cryptolith Right to try to get to World Breaker, to get to the Green Warden. Um, you also have some strategies of being able to pump some more creatures with Loam Dryad to get your mana reshaper with Eldros. Eldritch Evolution, kind of a fun little deck. We'll kind of go th few if you, we'll go few. We'll go through a few of the cards here. First, you got Dustwash Recruiter, which lets you look at the top few cards of your library, kind of get a creature from them. Um, you know, the Green Warden, which just if, when it keeps dying, you're able to bring it back from the graveyards, which is just an awesome recurring card. Hedron Collar, which gives you that colorless mana you may need. Loam Dryad, just some extra mana. Mana Reshaper, which uh, when that thing dies, you look at the top three cards of your library, you put a card with converted mana cost three or less from them in, or when you look at the top card, not top three cards, my bad. Yeah, if it's three or less, you put it into the battlefield, which there's quite a few that are in this deck. Otherwise, you put it into your hand. Uh, Reality Smasher, it's just probably the best, uh, one of the best Eldrazi's out there. Just lets you beat down, beat down, beat down. Then you've got Thought Not Seer, which when that thing, you get it, take something from their hand. But also, you know, it kind of sucks when it dies. But if you need to sacrifice it, you can go ahead and use your Eldritch Evolution to get World Breaker. Now, the only thing I like to put in this deck would probably be Ugin, just because you have enough ability with Cryptolith Ride and enough of your mana creatures that you can really go ahead and kind of get to Ugin quickly. So, great job on this deck. Um, the next one is a Popper deck, the Golgari Suicide. First off, just an awesome synergistic deck. I mean, everything is going to sacrifice in this deck, and when something's sacrificed, you're triggering something else. So, first off, you have Blister Pod which is a great two-for-one for yourself. You need to sacrifice it. You get a 1-1. One, one. Then you've got, what is that, Blood Bear or Blood Baron? Or, but whatever he is, when you sacrifice him, you get a plus one, plus one counter on, or not sacrifice him. Whenever you sacrifice another permanent, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. Then you've got this little boar here, which gives you a 3-3 three, three when it dies, so another two-for-one for, for yourself. Um, and you've got this little feeder here. You can sacrifice a creature, give him a 1-1 one, one counter. Eldritch Visionary, which really lets you draw a card when it comes into play. Just another good sack outlet. Uh, Nantuko Husk gives you plus 2, plus 2 when you sacrifice anything. So just an awesome beat downer. Um, then you've got Nest Invader, which just gives you another sacrifice outlet. And then Young Wolf. Then you've also got Raincore, which is awesome for this deck. It's just a great idea because you sacrifice something you're able to get Raincore back. So tack in, you need to sacrifice it to something else, Raincore comes back, you deal a bunch of damage. Um, then you've got Innocent Blood, which forces everybody to sacrifice a creature, which you're going to be doing anyways. And then Unearth, which I'd probably be running more Unearth, possibly, depending on how the deck fills, or possibly two more in the sideboard. Next, you've got Tragic Slip, which you're going to be having stuff dies all the time. So... Maybe a few more in this deck, but when, you, when another creature dies, you're able to do 13-13 because 13, you've sacrificed a creature already this turn. You're able to minus 13, minus 13, whatever they have on the board, which is awesome, especially with anything that's indestructible. And then it looks like they've got um, an artifact in here, which is Bone Splinter, and it's... Uh, you know, it's a work, it works. Uh, I just, you know, it's an extra beatdown card, so... You know, these definitely are some fun decks. You know, make sure you guys get your entries in for, for next month. Um, definitely check out my altars. I'll be coming out with a few more altars. If you guys want to see any altars, let me know. Um, we're trying to figure out a few things right now with, with the altars on there. If you have any questions about the shop, let me know. Well, this has been Zach with Rogue Deck Builder, kind of. So thanks for watching.